Hey guys, how's it going? Kraparian here. Today I want to give you guys a very important message that Battlegrounds is about fun. Um, yes, sometimes it's fun to see, you know, how well your your skills have improved over time. You want to push for the MMR or whatever. But as someone who has done that, I actually think it's a lot more fun to just focus on playing cool heroes and playing builds that you like over ones that are particularly optimal. Now, with that said, still a lot of people that watch this content, even though I don't play at the highest of MR, there's still a lot to learn because, well, I do win uh, a whole lot of games at fairly low MMR, still showcasing some cool stuff, and that's what I really like about Battlegrounds. And today, I want to give you guys that message and let you know that I am still picking heroes like Bigglesworth after the damage cap, after the armor, after a whole bunch of, you know, changes to how endgame builds work. It's again very mid-range focused once again. I don't care. It's time for Biggles, and it's time for Biggles all the time. You cannot freeze for the AFK achievement, no. Everything is ready for you, Commander. Excited? Okay. It's getting a bit late. I think I might call it after this one. I have to do the videos for this week after the stream. I have to go through a whole bunch of clips and send them off to Salt. I have to take care of a few other things. I have to get up really early because um, Aranya has uh, an appointment for her uh, arm tomorrow. Welcome back. Early in the morning. Uses. Bro, it has not been very easy. Like, um, mm, I quite enjoy taking time off from streaming. But it's not like sitting on a beach doing nothing. Like, when we were in Banff, I don't know, I, by myself, I don't know, I probably took like 300 photos and recorded a good six to eight hours of video, among other things. Um, and usually leading up to a trip, because there's a lot of stuff we have to do to prepare, I'm usually behind on sleep. And in the case of the last trip, I literally didn't sleep. Like, I did the all-day stream. It was, like, new expansion. Welcome back, and then didn't sleep. And then took a plane and flew there. And then we started our day. I got, like, three hours of shit sleep on the airplane. It's pretty hard to sleep in an airplane when they keep making the seats smaller and you're 6'4". And your waistline isn't getting smaller. I checked. It's not. Anyway... So, yeah, Aranya broke her arm. The last few days it was really stressful. I had to do everything. And uh, I got very little sleep coming back. I streamed on the day we were back. And usually when we're gone for, like, several days, which we were, coming back isn't like, hey, back to normal, let's just stream a little bit. No, it's like, oh, hey, we have, like, a hundred emails. We have to clean up all this shit. We have to do a whole bunch of stuff around the house. We have to, yeah, this and that and that. So... Yeah, I have been really tired for the last couple of weeks, guys. So if I'm ending early or whatever, yeah. Like, it, you've seen me today, I've gone mid-turn to try to take care of something. I've done that like 30 times. Okay, that's, that's what I'm doing. Like... Like, Ranya can't dress herself even right now. It's not possible. She has a gigantic fucking cast on her arm. So, yeah, it's it's a lot. We uh we flew to Banff, but um, Banff doesn't have an airport. It's still, like, a two-plus-hour drive. Sounds like you're doing vacations wrong if you aren't actually relaxing. Um, I don't know. There's different There's different sides to that. I certainly wouldn't mind going, like, Cuba and sitting on a beach... And doing nothing but breathing for a week. I would like this. But right now I can't really do that. Uh, actually Cuba's been doing fantastic I think with COVID. But you know, flying outside the country is just a total fucking nightmare right now. With all the regulations. Um, but usually when we go into like... A, an interesting place. We 
try to see as much of it in the limited time window that we have. So what I mean by that is like, I have a good feeling about that one. maybe, maybe because you guys are not familiar with Banff, let's set that aside. So, I mean, we took a trip to like New York, like, I don't know, a couple years back or something. We went to Manhattan and we went there for like, it was like a three day trip, but we drove there. So it was like a two day stay in Manhattan. So yeah, you can go to Manhattan and relax for two days and basically spend one day in the museum and one day walking around the park. But then you miss out on a lot. So instead, we like plan vacations where we have some shit to do by the hour. So we have this, 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 this. it's like a fucking schedule. So we can see more of the places that we want to see in the time window that we have available. So when you do that, a vacation is not relaxing. And we also try to do like social media content. We try to do videos for Anya's channel. Uh, one's in the title, you're welcome. Uh, which kind of adds another layer to that a little bit. And yeah, again, usually when we do vacations like that, the period before is like, I'm usually low sleep and doing a whole lot of work. So I'm not usually going into that the easiest. Alright, let's try this shit again here. I haven't been to Mississippi. If you can translation, see if we do social media content, upload it, we get the deduction from our taxes. I deserve props for that, but not for sim but not sympathy. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I, I sense some uh, Criperino experience. Uh, there are some things that we can do, like tax write-off, if we do like a whole video of it, but uh, most things are not. Oh fuck, did I even get one proc? I got one proc, right? No. That's a micro. Damn it. The current licking meta on Twitch. Is that bullshit still happening? Forget the sexualization part, isn't it just boring? Another great recruit for you. That was sex boring. I don't know, I, I kinda get creeped out by the the sexualized ASMR. It's just fucking weird to me. It's sexualized content in some cases. That's not sex exactly. Believe it or not, you cannot get pregnant from listening to someone on the internet lick a plastic ear. But believe it or not, it does not work that way as a matter of fact. It does not. Top 10 enemy betrayals. Try that. 
What did you just watch? Why are they licking it? You hate it? Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I got. I don't know. It's just bizarre to me. And trust me, I have some audiophile quality sound equipment, okay? Like, I can fucking hear the gargling of the saliva on the back of their throat when they're going deep on that shit, okay? I can, I can hear it. And still, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Oh, that guy's completely undefeated. Wait, what? Oh, he just tied like a million times. You're an unstoppable force. <laughs> Just max currently, I see. Yeah, that would not be good. You're confused. So basically, there's a damage cap, and I'm greedy. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that's good. Hookups. You're an unstoppable force. Safety restrictions offline. Harvesting servers. Oh. oh, that positioning. Okay. It's still good. It's still good.
It's possible that could have been played slightly better. Remember Vandar saying good things about that. Actually, fuck it. Another great recruit for you. Fuck. Battle continues. Damn. I want to give poisonous to the amalgadon there. That's cheating. I have a death rattle on that, so if we can get like a see our new recruits. divine shield thingamajig, that'd be pretty spicy. Let's see, do I have a uh, reborn on? It has taunt. Fuck, bro, that was not part of the agreement. Uh. Scenarius smile upon you. Another great recruit for you. You're pushing your luck, little thing. have a fucking macaw, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Seventeen. I believe that's the second time this guy's won against me as the underdog. He is currently in first place. Not over yet. Keep pushing.
I'm basically just going ham for selfless at this point. But maybe I shouldn't. It explains how the golden macaw player died. Oh, is that from him? No, it could be from either one of them. I guess if it is from that guy, I should do something like that. I haven't seen Hawkeye yet. Sleepy Duggos, why are you all here? Go sleepy. Go sleepy. The battle continues. I mean, it's just crazy weak. You dead. It's pretty tough to play that demon. I lost the gold doing my dumb play there. May Scenarius smile upon you. Fuck. Okay. Oh, that got lost to the ghost. Wait, what? Didn't he have 40 health a second ago? Must be seeing things. Yep. You're pushing your luck, little thing. Time to see our new recruits. Not a problem. Here's your goal. One large minion coming up. May Scenarius smile upon you. Okay, enjoy the company of one another, guys. Enjoy. Very nice. I will happily take the ghost on. Play nice, minion. I don't think that's 
that's a good idea. Yeah, I want to end on another Reborn Myxna instead of the Bran. And some random Murloc, doesn't matter. Why phrase the 2-3 uh, Battlecry, which might get eaten, but whatever. How it is. 2-3 isn't worth it. Well, you know what? I think it is. It's pretty strong, actually. Why am I playing against this guy and not that guy? What the fuck? I saw that guy lose 10 health and the secret guy was weak because I killed him. Why was the secret guy getting skipped? He must have lost to him even though it didn't show as a loss. Like, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the VOD. I'm gonna pull up the VOD. I think today's patch crangled something. I know you guys are like heavy copium mode right now, but no, 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 no. Look, look. Maybe I'm wrong because I'm like tired and shit right now. But. Okay, no, I think he has 30 health. I think it was a displayer. God, I wish this thing wasn't as tiny. No, his his health didn't move. Never mind. That guy had 30 health until I made him lose some. Oh, never mind. Oh, well. Whatever. That was fifth place from, like, three rounds before. He must have got so insanely lucky to beat that guy. But he's a really good build. Yeah, if I had a Murloc here, it was a lot harder to lose. But understandably, I didn't think I needed one. I was favored against everyone in that lobby except the guy who died in fifth. <laughs> okay, I guess.